kustorisha isti masondo mnyama because hiyo i resource ekfichane kuyumba mnyama kwazi yumbi sebenzisa ukuzinikeza amanye which means of strength they are trying to impose to control it's falling apart so, uh, our governments are becoming empty parrots you can name them parrots you can name them puppets you can name them france you can you know our own county in certain terms in south africa is a simple company registered in the new york stock exchange Mm. But it is. Mm. But the United Nations recognizes it as a state. Now we should also appreciate as much as we hate it that there is an order above us which is the supreme power in the world. That is the Anglo-American power. Let's appreciate that it exists to rule the world. They exist to outline the order. That's why if you're an enemy of such, <coughs> your life is threatened. Your freedom is threatened. You might be a victim of imprisonment because friendship you know, uh, intimidation, many, you know, whatever, persecution, you know. Here you, you are not persecuted for what you politically believe in. You are persecuted for being a stumbling block to the processes that the superpower wants to implement. Mm -hmm. What you believe in is immaterial, whether you are a Marxist or capitalist. Whether you are a, a, a Pan Africanist or what, they don't care. All they look at is their commercial gain mm -hmm. and their monopolistic control. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the, the, the idea. Now, let's appreciate that we are under that iron heat. We hate it. But you cannot say you are free now because South Africa is a democratic country. Not at all. Not at all. If South Africa has to be ruled by the iron heel of the Anglo-American authority, then we cannot be free. We have seen Zuma. We have seen Baby himself. We have seen Syrup already. That these chaps are in fact not in control. Including so, uh, Madiba himself. Mm. So, we have uh, seen that we cannot be talking about these things any longer. Mm. Let's just acknowledge that this is the situation. Now, what do we do as a people to protect our plight? You know, economy ni kasha kumbida. Umama kwa a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a you will survive. And you don't get no Yes. Uh, you are not destined to death because you are an orphan. Mm. 
You are not destined to misery because you have not. As long as your conscience serves you, as long as every sweat and your muscle serves to a united, you know, a, a, a consolidated effort, which will bring about the desired results that we need as communities. We no longer need super artificial leadership. We don't know, we don't we no longer need promises. You know, mm. if we have hope now, that hope is in ourselves, not in any political leader, mm. not in anyone. The only thing you must be careful of is their dirty tricks. Is their evil tricks? Mm. Is their satanic devotion? Mm. So These wow. people are devoted to the satanic, you know, and they are prepared to serve the devil. Mm. And they're prepared to die for the devil. Mm. And if you people are not prepared to die for God, then who are you going to die for? Mm. And if God has no one to die for him, then the devil is going to triumph. Yes, triumph. Mm. Easy. Mm. We must now apply this cannabis or this dark, this hemp, this marijuana, this swat. This, you know, let's now put it as our research council will interpret it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Then we outline <clears throat> our developmental objective in a